Hey guys, it's Chris from the Fabric Center again, and we had a pretty good response last time when we um, showed the 3160 and the 4300. Some of you decided that, or said that you would like to see maybe a couple other machines. So, we pulled out here the 6700. Now, this machine is a update of the 66. Some um, things that this machine had that the 66 doesn't is that it has a deeper bed. So this one has an 11 inch bed, whereas the 6600 has a nine inch bed. This machine also has a um, more lighting than the 66 does. It also has the easy change needle plate. So on this one, I'm gonna move this out of the way. This table comes with it. On this one, when I want to clean my machine or change my needle plate, I push a button that's right here on the front of the machine. Just give that a push, take that plate away, and there is my hook system. So if I want to clean, I can simply take this out like so, do my cleaning, put that back in, and then I am not trying to get back to the screw that's in that corner, and it makes life so much simpler. So the new plate goes on like so. We're just gonna go on like that, give her a little pop down, and then I can put my bobbin back in. Now, another advantage on this machine is the easy, it has the easy set needle plate. So how that works is this comes in, it's gonna come underneath that guide, come around and I'm gonna cut, just that simple. I don't need to bring up my bobbin thread. I'm, I can cut it and I'm ready to sew. So very nice and convenient. This is a very powerful machine. So I can, and you can hear the power too. Now, so now there's my regular straight stitch, reverses here. Here is my stitch in place locking stitch, which the 66 had also. Needle stops in the down position on this one, so I don't have to set it every time I sit down at my machine. It also has the scissors. <coughs> and so I can cut my thread, just that simple and nice and neat on the back. Now, if I was gonna be doing some piecing, cause this machine is ideal for piecers, I have a couple different ways of doing this. It has a quarter inch foot, just like the 66 or any of the other Janomis. But this machine is a nine millimeter machine. So that means the feet are bigger because the opening is bigger. So I can snap this on like so. Now I have a specific stitch for piecing. And that stitch is on my main screen, stitch number four. And it says quarter inch piecing stitch. So I'm going to come to my dial here, simply touch the number four, and I go to my piecing stitch. Now, the reason I have a specific stitch is because Janome has moved the guide. So it's moved it outside of the feed area. So that as I'm doing my piecing then, you can see that my whole presser foot is over the needle or over the feed dogs. So as I'm doing my piecing, I'm using my complete feed system. Another thing that they've added, if you have an older Janome, which is nice, is my pivot points are here. So if I am doing a block where I have to pivot a quarter of an inch from the end, I'm taking a look and that mark is right on the foot itself. So I go ahead until my mark is on my um, on the edge of the fabric so that when I pivot, I'm gonna pivot and I will be an exact quarter of an inch from my edge, even though my fabric isn't really quite square there. All right, so we're gonna give that a cut and there we go. So very, very precise. Another feature that this machine has is that it has what's called favorite stitch adjustment. Now, favorite stitch adjustment means my, the way that Janome has this machine set is about 14 stitches to the inch, which is pretty small. So in any other machine, every time I sit down at it, I've got to go to my stitch length and I've got to increase my stitch length to where I want it to be. On this particular machine, I can set my stitch length where I want it to be and I can even set my stitch width where I want it to be. So if I generally do a um, scant quarter inch, I can adjust my length, I can adjust my width, 
and I can simply put it in my favorite stitch so that every time I come to this stitch, it comes to my personal setting. So that is nice. I don't have to remember, no post-it notes on my machine telling me, change it to this, change it to that. I set it once and then it's done. I set it and then forget it. Now, another nice piecing feature on this machine is not only do I have this um, quarter inch that I'm using my entire feed system, but because it is a nine millimeter stitch width, that means that the stitches are bigger, so this hole has to be a lot bigger. So what can happen in that is that when we've got a soft fabric, the needle has a tendency to push that fabric down into the hole because there's a lot more room. So I'm gonna give a little push and release this plate, and I have a straight stitch plate. Now the straight stitch plate has center needle, left needle, and right needle, so this plate I can use with any of my piecing also. So because there's a small hole, there's not as much room for the fabric to tunnel down in. Now this machine though also has a third needle plate, and this is called the professional plate, and this is a plate that I really love using. This guy goes on like so. As soon as I snap him on, you'll notice that the needle on its own switched over to the correct position for this plate because there is a plate sensor. So any of you who, again, have the 6600, which I love, I, I love the 6600, but you might have changed to a straight stitch plate before and found that you've forgotten and then you go to your zigzag and it's a disaster. You break a needle or you zigzag your fabric right to your needle plate. Pretty easy to do. On this machine, when you change a plate, it changes the display and it will not let me select any stitch that I can't use with that plate. So one of the advantages of this plate is that it works in, conjunct in conjunction with my HP foot. And it does say HP right on the foot itself. And it also displays that foot right here on the front of the machine itself. So I'm gonna take this foot and I'm gonna put it on the machine like so. All right, so now I can take even a single layer of fabric, I can place that right under the machine and I can sew right from the corner on and I have no distortion of my corner. So if you are doing half square triangles where you're starting all the time on that corner and you have to use a leader of some sort so that it doesn't tunnel down into the machine, oh my golly, you would so appreciate this because it will just start on a dime and I don't have to worry about it sucking the fabric down in the hole and distorting that corner for me. So this neat plate and foot is also good for if you're doing some top stitching because by moving the needle over to the left needle position, which it automatically does, it puts the needle the closest to the hook when it's bringing the thread around. So you have the best stitch quality. Also, because of the smaller footprint here, it also makes it very simple to go around corners and curves. It's a very nice foot for stitching curves. Okay, so now we're gonna take this guy off and again, simply give that a push and it releases my plate. I'm gonna take my zigzag plate and snap him in. There we go. And we'll put, oh, let's see. We're gonna put the walking foot on. Here's another improvement with this machine. This is the AccuFeed walking foot. Now this particular walking foot, instead of being attached to the machine like some of the Janome models, actually does screw in. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna screw this in, and then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna give this a little push, just like so. So what that does is that engages the foot into the machine, okay? So now, um, when I'm doing my quilting, you can see how it's feeding both layers at one time. It's a very quiet process also, which is nice, like so. 
And then this machine also has a knee lift. Okay, another feature this machine has for when you're quilting is the knee lift. So the knee lift is going to attach the machine just like so. Now, a lot of sewers that have been sewing for a long time Remember this as their control. It was a knee control. With this machine, it is a knee lift. So what that means is I can push over with my knee, lifts the fabric, I can pivot, drop with my knee, and then sew with my foot. So that allows me, when I have my big quilt here, allows me to keep both hands on my work as I'm doing my quilting. It becomes your third hand. And if you have this function on your machine and you haven't been using it, you're really missing out because it makes a huge difference. So then I'm gonna to get to the end of my seam. Again, I'm going to use my uh, uh, stitch in place locking stitch. It's gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll use my scissors. So another thing you'll see with this machine is it has a ginormous amount of stitches, lots of stitches. So I have different modes. So I'm in mode one right now, which it shows me right on the front of the machine. Next thing is I want a, right up here, it tells me I'm in mode one. I want to stitch in mode two. So I'm going to simply touch my mode key. And if you've had a Janome before, you're familiar with this. And the stitch I want is, and this is one of my favorite quilting stitches, is stitch number 096. So I'm going to select the stitch. Then it's my serpentine stitch. I'll lower this down. And I love this stitch just because it makes it very quick and easy and simple. Instead of stitching in the ditch, I stitch over the ditch. Like for instance, in a baby quilt, it looks very nice and simple. But what I like to do with this stitch even more is change the width and length. So. On this machine, it's very convenient. My um, stitch width is a dial, and I do like that. It gives me a lot of control if I'm doing applique or something of that sort. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn my stitch width and make the stitch wider, okay? And we'll go up to eight. And I'm gonna take my stitch length and make it longer. So then I've taken that simple stitch. It still is a simple stitch. But look at how nice and big it is so that it can really fill up a narrow border if I chose to. So really gives it a nice finish. Just like so. So now I'm going to take this foot off. There we go. And if I want to do free motion, it does have the simple, this free motion foot. So I'm gonna go back to mode one. We'll just kind of take it through its, its uh, quilting chops here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the foot on. And I'm gonna put the needle in left needle position. And you can see the foot is kind of designed that way. So my left needle position, or we can just set it with, I'm gonna to go to stitch number one and I can just move the needle over or I can go to left needle position, which um, is can also be stitch 004. So I've moved it to left needle position. When I do free motion, I like to unplug my foot control. I like to set my machine at the speed that I'm comfortable doing free motion at. I am then going to lower my needle and raise my needle so that I can bring my bobbin thread up to the surface. Now, for me, it becomes much easier when I don't have to worry about including my feet in the mix. So I can use my start-stop key to run the machine, and then I simply move the fabric so it's just my head and my hands. Now I'm gonna stop. This foot is adjustable, so I can adjust it to the thickness of my quilt. The foot to me is just a little bit high. I want it close enough so that it's skimming the surface, but not so high that I'm getting fabric chatter. So there's a screw on the side of the foot that I can lower that down just ever so much so that I customize it to the thickness of my quilt. That way then, I can get it just the right height 
to get my best stitch quality, just like so. Now, the foot I happen to have on here, on this foot, is the closed toe. But this foot also comes with an open toe option and also a um, echo stitching foot. And they all attach separately onto this main foot. So we're just gonna give this a little cut and take this out from underneath. Now, again, talking about the stitch selection that's on this machine, we have a lot of stitches. I'm gonna go ahead and put my shank back on. Go. Okay. Now, um, another feature that's nice with this machine is that you do see that there is a lot of decorative stitches. And since it is a nine millimeter machine, the decorative stitches are large okay. and which I'm makes them easier to use. So the that. particular stitches I wanna use are in mode two. So I'm in mode two here and I'm going to attach my F foot or my fun foot, like everybody who's ever talked to me about a sewing machine knows I love calling this the fun foot because that's the one I'm gonna use when I'm doing fun stuff with my machine. So I'm gonna put this underneath. My little favorite combination, you might've seen it before, but I still really like it. Stitch number 191. I put that in and I put, put it in the memory. Stitch number 192 and we put it in the memory and stitch number 193 and I put that in the memory. So now, whoopsie, I unplugged the foot control, so I'm just gonna use my start-stop key. And look at how nice those stitches are. just like so, really pretty stitches, large enough that you can use them. Another function because of the large nine millimeter pattern, I can take this, I'm gonna flip it around and yes, it does have lettering. So I'm gonna flip it around. It will write in block and script in upper and lower case, you can see here, but my favorite lettering style is this one here, the uppercase block. So that is all in mode three. So I'm gonna to touch my mode key again. And now I'm in mode three and I'm gonna use these letters here. So I'm gonna lower this down. J is 410. I'm gonna select 410, put it in the memory. A is 401, put it in the memory. N is 414. O is 415. M is 413. And E is 405. Now, I also have numbers and I have punctuation. I can write a complete sentence. I can use this to, uh, to sign and date a quilt really, really easily. So now we're just gonna write Janome. And then it's going to lock and we'll cut it. And there it is, just as nice and clean as can be. Mm -hmm. So just as a quick overview, this machine does also accommodate the cones of thread as easily as many of the Janome models, the 66 being um, the one I'm thinking of most, is that we can use cones of thread with this. Uh, it has pressure control here. It also has the simplified threader. And as I said before, the easy set bobbin. This machine is also on a super duper quarantine sale. So if this is um, something that you might be interested in, give us a call at 815-942-5715. And we'll be happy to help you and answer any other, any other questions that you may have. So it's been great talking to you. I have a feeling you might see me again. I don't know. But anyway, talk to you guys all later. Thank you.